Hey guys, welcome back. This is Brian from the BTN HD, and yes, it's all about MDT uh, and also MVME solid state drives. Now, MVME basically stands for non volatile memory express SSD, which is solid state drive. Now, this video is a little personal, and the reason why is because I not too long ago received an Octoplex uh, from Dell, a 7040, and it was upgraded with the MVME. Uh, my environment wasn't uh, ready to deploy to MVME, so it was all new to me. So the first thing that you need to do for this to work correctly is make sure that you're running the latest and greatest MDT 2013, right? And uh, if you're deploying Windows 7, you have to do a couple of things. Now, when I did my research, Dell gave me these requirements. Now, these requirements is a little false. Uh, it, it does tell you to turn on RAID, which is already by default turned on within, you know, Dell computers. I had to turn this off. I actually had to turn on the AHCI feature for it to work for me. You have to turn on the legacy option ROM uh, within the BIOS so you can pixie boot. Uh, again, make sure that you're running the latest MDT 2013 update 2, I believe, because then that will give you the latest Windows PE. Uh, you definitely need to get yourself a copy of the Intel Rapid Storage. Now, if you're dealing with a Dell computer, this will work for you. If you're dealing with another uh, vendor, most likely that vendor has its own storage device driver, so you got to get a copy of that. Now, I took some screenshots, and as you can see right here within the secure boot, I had to disable that uh, because that's the only way that you could get into the legacy option because you have to disable it and within here uh remember like dell automatically tells you that you have to have the raid on and by default dell machines already have that it didn't work for me uh my deployment kept on going into a loop or it crashed once the installation of the operating system was done i just got a bunch of errors so what i did was i turned on ahci right and it worked for me and the next thing that i had to do was uh, just enable the legacy option because if you don't enable that you won't get the option to uh, click in here the boot menu to pick legacy right and then within my mdt settings again when i did my research dealing with this mvme solid state drive and mdt uh, a lot of people did powershell a lot of people did uh, using the um, the DSIM to slipstream the, the these two updates, these two hot fixes within your Windows 7 Win image for it to work. I tried all that and it did not work for me. Now you're probably saying hot fixes. Yeah, there's two hot fixes within the Windows 7 environment that will work, that will allow you to deploy your operating system uh, within uh, a machine that has an NVMe solid state drive. Okay. The first one is a must, which is the KB2990941. You have a second one. And this is a little weird because if you push this one out, there's a 50-50 chance that this update right here, the one that I have highlighted in bold, is going to cause a blue screen of death. And if that happens, you have to push this update out. I was lucky enough to only push out the 2990941 and it worked out with no problems. Knock on wood, right? Knock on wood. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So let's get inside my MDT environment. Uh, I'm going to expand my MDT node. I call it production, whatever you guys call it. And within my out of box drivers, this is where I created a folder. As you guys know, I love creating folders to keep myself nice and organized. And I imported those Intel Rapid Storage drivers. You get two flavors within Dell. You got the 64-bit, and then you also have the 32-bit. So whichever operating system flavor that you're pushing out in your environment, just make sure you pick it. For me, I got the 64-bit because I was pushing out a Windows Service Pack 1 um, 64-bit. And that's another thing. The KB hotfixes will only work with Windows 7 Service Pack 1. Now, if you're pushing out Windows 8 or Windows 10 within your environment, you have no problem because those operating systems already support the solid state drive, right? The next thing that I did was I went to packages, I created another node or folder, and within that folder, this is where I imported those two KB. Again, I didn't need 7873. This is the one that's gonna fix the blue screen of death, but I just imported it just for the heck of it, okay? 
And the next thing that I did was create a task sequence. And the task sequence is, where is it? Right here. So I call it Windows 7 x64 MVME solid state drive task sequence, right? It's a basic uh, client deployment uh, task sequence. It's nothing special to it, not yet. The next thing that I did was I went inside my advanced configuration and I went to selection profiles. Within selection profile, I created another profile and I called it MVME solid state drive packages. I'm gonna double click on that and I just made sure that it only pick that folder with those hot fixes, okay? And within the task sequence, let's double click on that task sequence and go to task sequence node or the tab. Now within the pre-installed node, you want to go inside apply patches. Now, I'm not really a huge fan of applying patches within uh, deployment because I like to do that you know, later on with my WSUS server or something like that. Or I like to slipstream hot fixes or patches within my WIM image and then push it that way. But for this case, I needed to get this machine out of the way. What I did within the selection profile, by default, it, it says all packages. So what I did is just chose the package or the selection profile that I created. So this means when I pick this task sequence and it deploys, it's going to go inside the apply patches and it's going to push these hot fixes within the WIM image. Once I did that, it went straight through with no problem. Now, I had a couple of hiccups and some of the hiccups is the installation of the operating system goes through and then when it reboots, it just constantly reboots in a loop. And the reason why is because of the patches. And the way that I was pushing out the patches, again, I was trying to push it through the DSIM approach within the task sequence or PowerShell, and it just wasn't working for me. The only way that it worked for me was me creating a selection profile and importing those two hot fixes in within the packages, and it just worked. I was super happy. Uh, it took me about a day and a half to get it up and running but it, it got to the point that look if i get another machine with an mvme solid state drive all i gotta do is just pick that task sequence and it goes through with no problem hopefully this video helps you out i am going to be posting up my notes that i took with the screenshots and stuff at my site so you guys could check it out if you guys have dealt with this uh non-volatile memory express solid state drives within your deployment using mdt i would love to know what you guys have done because uh, I'm I would definitely love to change the way I'm doing it. it for now it's working for me with no problem uh, again hopefully you guys enjoy leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one peace out